Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, with an objective lens or glass in my hand, I'm going to teach you something. This is a wide-angle lens. It crosses every projector lover's mind. What if I add a lens in front of my projector? Can I make a larger image in a small size room? Or can I improve the throwing ratio of my projector? Can I create a sharper image with a cheap budget? Is it possible? Truly, this is, these questions come to my mind. And probably it comes to many of the people with the projector love. In the, if they have some sort of photography background. Since I had this in my photo studio, I just brought it at home and I just want you to see something and to learn this topic and why there are reasons that you can't really do stuff to cheap. Because I made another video, stay away from cheap projectors, that's a whole nother topic. But when it comes down to the glass, you can't buy good glass for cheap. This device is a 58 millimeter uh, thread lens uh, extender. This is a 0 0.45, which means it will increase the size into a double. It will make the lens like a wide angle lens. Sort of like we can think regular throw projector becomes a short throw projector. Okay, so is it going to be possible? It might be, but there are costs to that. Let me just show you and then talk this topic about it. This is Epson TW7000 and a 4K HDR projector and it's $1,500 level generally, uh, brand new probably. Uh, the lens is bigger than this lens. So this front lens will not cover this sort of a professional uh, projector's objective like lens. But if you have a smaller LED projector like my old LG HF 60 LS or any kind of small LED or laser projector because they tend to have smaller lenses and this will cover up because the front element is bigger, the rear element is smaller and the rear element had to cover your lens directly, all of it, to give a proper sharp image. But for this uh, projector, it won't cover the front element because the lens size is huge compared to that. It's even bigger the front element of this converter. So let me show you what happens if they don't match and I will talk to you about this topic. This is after. Since as you can see this is double the size but we lost the half of the sharpness and the corners are dark because the sensor is not... Uh, some of it is my finger and the rest is it's covering some of the lens. And let me just take it out. Look at the brightness level difference. I fixated the camera. Right now the room is quite bright but I've just manually exposed to the screen because it's too bright, because it's about, let's just say, 70 inches. Compared to this projector can deliver, this is too small. And even in the echo mode, this is extremely bright right now. But when I do this, just take a look at the brightness. We're going to lose the brightness because we, can, we are increasing the size into a double. Take a look and take back. So, what you lose when you expand the same picture, same brightness into a double size, you're going to lose the light. So if you have LED or laser, whatever that is, a small powered projector, like a portable one, don't use these because increasing the size doesn't mean anything if you don't have the light source to back it up. That's why the ultra short throw or short throw projector is actually expensive. When you go wide, it doesn't matter if you're close or distance. When you go wide, you need the light. It doesn't matter where you throw it from. So it might not be same thing. When you are close, you need a less light. That's okay. That's understandable. You might be thinking, hey, I'm getting close because of this lens. Okay, but you're also losing some sort of a sharpness because this lens is around the corners is not sharp, perfectly sharp because this is probably $50, maybe $35 lens. In second hand market, probably this is $25. So you can't really buy an expensive high end extender lens kit like this 0 0.45 or 0 0.55, whatever that is, just expanding your image it will be costing much more. This is a 58 thread, which means it's 58 millimeter. 
this lens is much bigger than 58. It's even bigger than the back size of this, uh, the front size of this converter. So you need something like 72 millimeter to cover all the lens. And that is probably going to cost you about 250, maybe $300 with the good optics. So that means you really need to spend a lot of money, maybe even more money. Uh, because I'm not checking the, all the prices for the, you know, wide angle lens kits right now, converters. So basically, if you're going to spend a lot of money, you can sell your projector and upgrade it. Why to buy an external lens? This is one of the reasons, one of the reasons this doesn't truly work. Some people says there are lots of old videos, but I wanted to bro uh, bring the topic here. Because I found this while I was cleaning my photos, one of my photo studios, I realized I could make a video out of this and teach you the optical quality costs. And you can't really get a shorter throw projector in a low cost without a mirror, without my tips and tricks early in the channel. This is the, uh, this is the hardest way to go, the optically, the most expensive way to go. But if you want to do it, you might work it out. If you have a small LED China projector, which I don't recommend, and stay away from them, less than $100 range projectors, stay away from them. They are optical quality bad. If you put something right in front of it like this, you're going to make it worse because of the, another optical element. And the second thing is, they don't have the light source to back it up if you make the image larger so it's going to be less bright it's not going to be watchable for my taste and probably for a lot of you so don't spend the money any of these converters and just wait a while and upgrade your projector find try to find something in the second hand market with good optics just internally because believe me when i say so optical internal elements already planned to deliver as much good image as possible they are building this stuff they know this they know the optics so if they can build high end to low end quite a bit of different uh, projectors they know what they're doing just stay with stock products and by the way when i say you this i've designed the product that can hold this and designed it from metal so it was just compatible with every kind of projector and with the different thread sizes but i just put that design away because i've tried with a couple of lenses this truly doesn't work yes really in some cases some small uh lens projectors might work but i wouldn't recommend the total cost the adapter that i designed probably if it was launched to the market it would be about 50 dollars because it's metal, it's moving to get the perfect placement for your lens. It just moves vertical and horizontal in the same time. And also it's just moving behind the bottom of this uh, projector. So you can give it an angle. It rotates from every angle to make it perfectly straight to your uh, you know, projector lens. And let's just say converter is $50, professional converter, if it ever made the market. If you demand it too much, maybe I will make it online but i don't think that you will the second thing is the lens lens depending on your front element if you have a big projector like this you need to buy something around 300 dollars uh, maybe in the second hand market you would find something but definitely for the brand new it starts from 50 dollar range even these so you really can't buy something proper and you're going to spend about 300 400 dollar range I don't recommend the uh, buy something like this instead of that upgrade your projector and live your life with an easy way so what if you have the lens if you have the lens you might want to try it out and the, maybe the last part of this video is an option although i said this doesn't work this might work in some cases one of the cases is what if you find some projector front element is broken like, like the front lens has a problem, then you might have a chance to buy some second-hand film lenses like M42s, 35mm capable lens, and you just find a way 
you have to find a way to fit your uh, camera lens in front of your projector and match the image size to the back of your camera lens and you might be able to create a sharp image out of a cheap projector because if the front lens is broken you're not going to pay too much of a, to a projector. If you find something like this 4K projector with the front glass is broken, somehow a kid just throw the ball something, hit it with a hammer, whatever it is. So if you can find something like this as cheap as possible, you can also consider try to look out for the optical element in the secondhand market. Or you can just check out the AliExpress kind of like alternatives Maybe you can find a lens fit to these devices. Optical quantity might not be exactly the same, but there are uh, companies just builds for OEM and just aftermarket. You can find different parts, maybe even able to fit it. So instead of this, you can try something else, but that video, just let me do it again. It's not going to worth your time, effort, and money. Just show to you again, it's just growing losing the sharpness. This is very shallow image compared to the first image. Let me just try to focus because image is changing again. The middle focus is clear, but around the corners, as you can see, we have a huge amount of distortion because our screen doesn't match uh, the back of the converter. If I had a bigger converter, this image will be without too much of a distortion because the optical lenses around the corners create more distortion. So that's why this happens. If you have a smaller lens, this would work even better. But definitely you have a light loss. So I hope this video gave you some idea of how this works. And if you have learned anything, let me know. And if you need a bigger image from a small distance, and if you have a small projector compared to this, you can get away with something like this, but you need to fixate it in front of your uh, projector lens. And it's not something that you can really easily do. When you do it, it's not even, again, like easy as you think. Sharpness is not there. For me, I wouldn't wait my time. I hope to see you in the next video. Let me know what you think. And some of you might think that are... Uh, lens filters just not like this not like these converters there are lens filters out there they are smaller thinner and they are like 72 millimeters and those are for macros so if you find some like wide angles they won't probably work don't waste your money to them too because they look like they can fit in front of the projector lenses but they don't so let me know what you think at the comment section below. And if you have questions, if you have ideas to try with the projectors, I might have create content for you guys. Hope to see you in the next video on Cinema and Tech Review. Bye.